So there is also this other aspect of awakening, this unfoldingness that's going on for each of us. Today for me, this morning in my uh, sitting, what the, the truth was revealing itself to me still, I say it and me as if there's two, but there really isn't. I was experiencing myself even clearer than I have ever before. And tomorrow it'll be even clearer than that. And that will go on forever in various bodies. So there is also this unfolding aspect to that, that the seeing happens in one moment or an experiencing of something. And then later <laughs> it will happen again at some point. And then again and again and again until it's pretty continuous. I'm experiencing myself and I'm seeing it ever clearer each time. Technically speaking, I'm seeing the same thing this morning in my meditation that I saw uh, the very first time I ever recognized I was not a separate being. Then I'm something very different to that. But the depth of clarity and uh, insight and peace and joy that comes with that is uh, that it's been seen again and again and again is increasing every time. So I'm say, seeing the same thing now and now and now and now and now and now and now, which the mind may interpret as a sequence of seeings. And then it's being allowed to uh, unfold itself, unpack itself that seeing into and as my way of being. It's integrating itself more and more each day, deeper and deeper, uh, more and more unlimited in its expression to, in its ability to express itself as uh, this body and mind. It's happening the same for all of us. So if you can just kind of uh, sit with that for a moment, it is an event. There is a seeing, you can say, Tuesday at 2 p.m. I saw something, I experienced something. Today, when I asked myself inquiry question, it was just very different. Something for a moment, maybe a nanosecond, just let go. And there was just this, this that is. And then um, tomorrow you might have another scene that's even clearer. But seeing the same thing as if each time you see it, you're cleaning um, the lens that you're looking through. If we're looking through a lens that's dirty at something, I was covered over with our beliefs about ourselves. Then each time we look, we're wiping away some of that fog of dirt of illusion, so to speak, of the beliefs we have about ourselves. Can't quite hold on to them so tightly after each successive seeing then it seems to be also be unfolding over time, this awakening. And, and a lot of awakening for me was getting comfortable in the paradox of that. Is it an event or a gradual thing? Yes to both. And somewhere inside me, there is uh, some place that's comfortable with that already. There's also for most of us, some place that's very uncomfortable with that. It wants to know which one is it? Is it an event or an unfolding? And um, again, just getting comfortable with that. There's something that's totally okay with the paradox. And there's something that's really not okay with the paradox. And it's, it's okay. I don't have to pick one of those. So if we were to do a meditation or some self-inquiry, some contemplation, even if you've done it a hundred times before, if we do it today, you would have a deeper seeing of the exact same thing you, you first saw. It might show itself from a different angle. The one infinite self, sometimes you might reveal, it might reveal that it's timelessness. It's always nowness, like I've been saying. Sometimes it might reveal that it is infinite, that it has no edges, no boundaries. Sometimes it might show you that it's effortless, it's not doing anything. All this world manifestation 
universe is just arising spontaneously and, and uh, moving and then falling away. Sometimes it might show that it is love, that it's unconditional acceptance. Sometimes it might show its gentleness. Sometimes it's directness. Sometimes it will show itself as compassion. On and on and on it goes. And for all the times I've been seeing my real nature, I've never seen it show itself exactly the same way. Even for each body and mind, the way that we see the self, the infinite being, each time is going to be different. There's an infinite number of ways to recognize yourself. That's exciting to the real self, to the mind. It's endlessly frustrating. I want an answer. I want to know what I am, says the mind. And then I can stop this whole spiritual uh, stuff. I'll know and then I'm done. I'm finished. But what if it's not like that? What if it's an infinite unfolding? What if the very fact you're in this satsang right now is the culmination of 100,000 years of earthly bodies to get to this point? Would you be sitting here without any of those other moments? In fact, the sitting in the satsang and in awakening in general is evidence of how much you've already been seeing. That you wouldn't be able to digest um, any longer, any further, just reading about, hearing about, you want to directly experience. So for me, that understanding the, of the paradox of it, I'm seeing the same thing again and again and again, but deeper and deeper each time from a slightly different angle, as if you had this big, uh, vast uh, jewel that you're looking at. And on this jewel, it has an infinite number of faces, tiny little faces. And each time you look, it's the same jewel, but there's a different face that you see over and over again you can never look at the same one twice and each one you look at is more beautiful face than the previous one you looked at and the next one you see after that whenever that is will be even more so how to speed up then these time supposed time periods between one seeing and another why does it have to be years for some people months for others and why is it continuously occurring for an awakened being? What's the difference with that? And it's really only how much we've relaxed into this paradox of, I'm never going to get to the end of my seeing. The journey, the unfolding, is as much the joy of it as the uh, actual seeing I'm having in this moment. I can enjoy this revelation of who I really am. I don't need to hold on to it tightly because as I relax around it, the next one is going to come even quicker. And eventually it's continuous and ongoing. Right now we're experiencing ourselves as this satsang. This satsang is us, the one being, experiencing itself this way. This is what it looks like right now. And it will continue to seem to change in its appearance. So can you relax more into it? You're never going to get to the end of the seeing like the mind wants. But each seeing you have after this is going to be more beautiful, more expansive, deeper, more profound than the last one. And the one after that will be even better because that's the nature of realities. In manifestation, as our awakening, as our lives, it's always expanding, always. More, always more. Usually we're getting more of the illusion because we're focused on that rather than what's real. We go back into imagination. So can you relax into the fact you're never going to get it all done? And would you really want to? If I said to you, Here's um, here's the key to uh, paradise. And every time you come back out and you go back in again, paradise is going to be upgraded. 
be even better than it was last time. Wh whatever paradise would look like for each one of us, we'd have our own unique perspective on that. But you knew that when you walked out of it, the next time you go back in, it would be upgraded, even more amazing. And eventually you don't ever leave because you never really walked in. You're just seeing where you've always been. <laughs>